Welcome to VISP Solution. I'm Siyanshi Jain, and today we will see how to create simple report using grid and chart in our narrative reporting application. The narrative reporting application is the cloud-based reporting system where, which streamlines both the internal and external reporting process. It also helps to describe the non-financial information in the financial statements or financial reports. Also, narrative reporting includes annual reports, it includes text, charts, notes, pictures. We will also create a report through using uh, charts and uh, cha uh, using charts and grids. For that, I have already created the balance sheet in my uh, Excel sheet. This is my balance sheet. I have taken the entity as S101, S102. This is my current assets. I will change the name. This is my current assets. I have Citibank stock fixed assets as machines, common stock creditors, and I have defined the POVs. Now I want this report, this my balance sheet to be included in the report. So how we will do that? We will see it through narrative reporting application. So this is my balance sheet. Now I will create the, this report into my uh, an NR application. So we will go to NR, NR application. This is my NR application. For first, this is um, uh, this is my FCCS um, uh, balance sheet. So first, I have to create the connection between the NR and the FCCS application. So uh, then only my figures of the FCCS will be shown in the narrative reporting. So for that, I will go to navigator, click on connections. I will establish the connection between the NR and FCCS first. I will click on add, create. I will name the uh, connection. Let's suppose give it as FCCS underscore FCCS underscore demo and 27th. My type will be Oracle Enterprise Performance Management Cloud. We need not change it. I will provide the URL for the same URL, URL for the my FCCS application. So my uh, URL for my FCCS application is uh, this. So I will select it. No, identity domain is not important, uh, is not necessary. Uh, then I will provide the administration user ID. ID will be my uh, login ID of my FCCS application. Then I will provide the password. I will provide the password. And then I will click on enable library. Why I'm clicking on enable library, I will tell you in later process. Now I will click on test connection. My connection is successful. Therefore, now we will click on OK. Now my connection with both the application has been established. Now we will go to home page. Now we'll go to library and establish the connection with the data source. This is my data source. I will create the uh, data source. Data source. I will name it as, you can give the same name, FCCS underscore demo for the ease of identification, 27. Now here connection, we will scroll, uh, drill down it. Now we will uh, search for the connection which we have recently made. Our connection name was FCCS underscore demo 2027, uh, sorry, 27. Uh, for this purpose only, we uh, in, in take the uh, enable library option in our connection. So we can choose here FCCS demo 2000, uh, demo 27, and then we will click on test connection. Our connection is successful. Then our application is Vision Console, its name appeared automatically. We will provide the cube name, our cube name is console, and then we will click on OK. Our data source has been also got connected with the application. Now we will go to uh, home page. Now we will create the report. Without connection, if I provide these uh, uh, accounts uh, in the narrative reporting, it will not identify these accounts. 
and we won't be able to make the report. For this purpose only, I've created the connection. Now we'll go to narrative reporting application. Now we'll click on reports. Again, I will click on plus sign. Now, this is the page which has been opened up. As I said that narrative reporting consists of a, a annual report, text, charts, notes, notes, pictures, etc. So from here, this is the setup grid. Setup Through setup grid, we can provide the figures uh, to this application. We will go to edit. Our uh, uh, data source was FCCS underscore demo 27. So we will select that. This is the page which has opened. Now here we will provide the POVs. We will provide the same POVs which we have defined in this uh, uh, Excel sheet so that we can get the correct figures. So I have taken years as financial 2015. So I will select that. Now scenario as actual. Wait, let me check for the scenario, what I've taken. Scenario is actual, yes. So I will take the scenario as actual. Then my view is periodic. FCCS periodic. And currency will be entity currency. If we provide the different uh, POVs, then we won't be getting the result of it. So we need to be very careful with the POVs. Our currency will be currency, entity currency. Then our entity would be, let's define entity. Okay. Our uh, entity is S underscore 101. Then my movement is no movement. Then my data source is data input. We will search for data input. Yes, this is my FCCS data input. Now consolidation, consolidation will be entity input. Entity input. Now my intercompany will be no intercompany. Where is my intercompany? New intercompany. Then multi cap will be local gap. This is my local gap. And product will be no product. So I have defined my POVs. Now, let me define the period. Period is January. Then now I will define the accounts. For accounts, let's take the help reference of my Excel sheet. I will change the alias name to none so that I can have the account name. These are all the alias. Now I will just copy the name and I will get I will then paste it in my application, in our application. I've pasted total balance sheet. Then total assets. This is current assets. The next is, uh, I have the current assets. I will control, copy it. Then 
second current asset. One is bank and one is stock. It is not got copied, I guess. We'll copy it again. Let's see, says fixed assets. We will copy the uh, headings also so that it will be uh, good for the presentation purpose. Let's see, says total equity. FCCS common stock. FCCS total liabilities. Then uh, the account. Next is our retained earnings. Now we have defined all the accounts. Now we will preview it. But before we, uh, we see the preview, we could see that in our Excel sheet, we have this S102 also, and we have only defined the entity S101 as 100 in fact. So we will change this entity, uh, uh, this entity. We will go to show dimension layout and we will drag the entity near period. And then we will save it. Okay, don't save it. We will go to edit. Okay, let's save it and save the report name as FCCS demo report, FCCS underscore demo 27. And this is the uh, path where my report is going to save. So I will save it, we can change it also. Entity. Now I will go to edit. Let's close it. We will go to edit. Now, where is my entity? S underscore, it's 101. My entity, okay, I did a mistake. Actually for uh, creating one more uh, entity, I need to add the column. So uh, I will click on this A, right click, and then insert after data, select this. Now I will change it, period is Jan. I will just change the name of entity that is S102. I, uh, I haven't created the row for that. Something went wrong. S, S underscore 102. Oh, sorry, it's 102. Yes. Now we will save it and then we will see the preview of it. When we see the preview, we can see that it is in the same format as there was in my Excel sheet. Total assets, current assets, everything is same. Now, if in our report, we want to add the uh, graphs or chart or text in it, how we will add it, we will see. We'll go to edit. We'll close this. 
now here we will click on this block and then we'll click or uh, right do the right click we will uh, select the text we can select we have the two options of selecting the text and image we will select select the text we will click on edit now we will provide the text like for suppose say it is an annual report so we will write annual annual report uh, of uh, a b c limited c limited and then for financial year uh my financial year is 22 22 23 okay now we will shift this to middle we can do uh, uh, editing also as we like in our report we can increase the font size also it is 10 we will increase it to 16 now here we could see the function we will click on that there are various functions which we can use uh, right now i'm using date and time uh, date format will be medium uh, you can choose any format you like like for time we have so many format i'm choosing the medium one date and time okay and we will save it and then we will close it we could see that a text has been written here we could change its damage uh, edit also we can now this is the text we have written okay now for suppose we want uh, charts uh, for the same report we will click here right click then we will go to chart we will go to edit it is asking the uh, source so our source is fcss demo 27 so we will select it now this is the sample chart uh, which has been it, uh, showing we will go to source we will again provide the source okay we will go to da chart data we will select period and the account then we will save it let's preview it something went wrong let's do it again let's close this we will go to edit we will go to source existing grid is grid one okay chart data we will select, click on save. We'll see the preview. We can see that our chart has been prepared for January South 101 and January South 102. We will save it and then we will close. Now you can change the uh, font size. You can do, change the margin. You can change the background color. I mean, there are various options of editing the report. You can do it as per your needs and requirement. Now we will see the entire uh, preview of the report. We will click on preview. We can see that annual report of ABC Limited for financial year 20 to 23. Uh, uh, date is 27th July, 2022. Time is 732. And this is our balance sheet. And this is my chart. This, uh, these are all uh, uh, um, items of balance sheet which they are uh, depicting through colors. So this was for today. For any queries, please reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com. Thank you.